happy Monday morning, guys. Brad just shot me a text and he said, hey, hop in this triaxle. We got some soil, or it's not soil. He's got some uh, asphalt on site that he needs me to be removed. Why I'm getting in the truck is because Steph, our normal truck driver, he's actually gone right now. Uh, I kind of don't like this. If I'm gonna be out driving around in our truck, our new triaxle, this thing's gotta be cleaned. It's gotta be shined up. So that's what we're doing right now. Let's clean it up. Also, anybody in the comments can let me know, how do I get a key out of there? Truck driver uh, did that one night. Thanks, Steph. All right, just to show you guys a little setup. So I just use a Honda GC 190. Uh, I think it's a 3200 PSI pressure washer. I would like to try one of those hot water pressure washers, especially with the cold weather coming up. So if anybody has one of them, let me know how they work. But this is how we get the water. Basically, I think I showed this in another video. Um, that's a well underneath there that we just dug. It has a line going into it with a check valve at the bottom of it. And then basically it comes up out of the ground here into this pump that we got at uh, Princess Auto, into, it's, uh, into this pressure tank. And then from the pressure tank, all this is is just a filter because we get a little bit of rust and like, kind of like iron pieces in our water. So that filters that out, comes out garden hose into the pressure washer. It's kind of a jerry rig system, but it works really well. on the weekend so that was awesome all right we're gonna put all this stuff away and then get in the truck and go get loaded Yo! but there's one more thing that i need to get other than gopro batteries because gopro batteries suck favorite kind all right oh my glasses got completely covered in dirt Windshield wipers. Oh. Tailgates locked. Let's do a trip inspection. One left. Staff. All right, let's get some batteries. All right, we've got two more batteries. We should be good. Let's truck on, baby. Feel good though now that we have a clean truck. For me, I'm very anal about keeping myself clean. And this weekend, dad dropped the ball and he didn't get them to come out to clean the trucks. I was kind of mad about that, but sometimes that just happens. Lack of communication. Good on a company. Whenever you show up and you got a nice clean trucks. I always like having nice clean trucks represents the company better. Well, this thing's got some pickup. So long enough drive, I guess. Um, so I'm turning left on a Maribel right now from Hunt Club. So if you live in Ottawa, you know where I am. We're doing work at the Toyota dealership uh, at the corner of Hunt Club and Maribel. It's a flagship store. 
That being said, I want to do a big shout out to Tony Graham of Ottawa, guys. They are an amazing automotive company, automotive group. If you ever need Lexus, Toyota, anything else, uh, go check out their selections. They have a place in Canada, a place here. They have a Lexus dealership. They got tons of stuff going on. Go check them out. Ask for Ben George. He's the greatest. Um, he'll probably put you on with a sales guy, but Ben's a really great guy. So shout out to everybody from there and the car ahead of me didn't go on this green light. So that's great. What's up, buddy? You? How's it going? There's Al. So I'm taking out all this asphalt here. We'll take the asphalt, load it up, and then I'll take it to uh, Acon's pit on Carp Road. There's Al. There's Brad running the 308. Let's go see what Al's doing. Where you want me, buddy? Brad's gonna load me? With the 308? Yeah. Yeah, I guess it'd be tight with the back up. Are you, uh, are you gonna load me? Okay, where do you want me? Maybe over this side, I'll sit kind of right by the forks, I think. Can you really tell me? Just, uh... Yeah, I don't... Yeah, I would sit right behind where I am, actually. Yeah, I'll sit right behind where you are. Yeah. <laughs> Brad doesn't run the 308 that much, but he's, uh, he's doing pretty good on it. I also, guys, I know I should be wearing a hard hat and have high vis on. Trust me, I know that. I'm just gonna be sitting in the truck. Well, I might shine up the rims, but. All right, Brad's gonna load me up. But just go, uh, like grab one and hold it where you want. Back of a dump truck right now, guys. Hey, man. Just saying, hey. Just saying, hey. Bitch, I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems. I solve them. I run through the money. Depression be calling. Left on my blessings. I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling Phone and progression, it's all that I wanted The phone and affection, I summon and dub it Cause bitch I got problems, so problems, so problems Alright, I'm loaded I gotta go Okay, stop staring at me, get back to work <laughs> Alright We're gonna go dump this and come back for one more So Time lapse to pit. See you guys at pit. Don't do discussions on bragging about honey. Don't go to your places. I know that they sunk in. Don't call me your brother. I barely could trust you. I talk to a shorty. She bagging the bug. And I'm gonna need all of my dollars on corporate. So hand me the money. I did read the pot. I'm gonna give all of my people a portion to build them a fortune. I'm flipping the rock. I can't be mixy when iffy the vibe. And 40 on 50 is really the time. Why are you all on my phone like you want me? Like you wasn't pushing the kid to the side. I don't know if you bitches are thinking I'm blind. Cross on my crosses and doubt on my eyes. Done with your efforts, I'm dealing with pressures. I know it's a lesson, that's worth it to watch. Dubbing the mixes, I'm All right, mixing we made it here to the pit. We're at the Acon's pit. Um, we're at the South Scales. And uh, basically, what I gotta do is I gotta get on here and uh, get a tear in and then tear out. So I'll tear in and then go dump my load. And then, uh, then I'm gonna come back, get weighed, and then that's how they know how much.
Oh. This would be number three. All right. Going off this, it says that we have 17 ton on. 17 ton of asphalt. Sorry, guys. Let me address this in the comments. That paving video is full of people saying, why do you pronounce it asphalt? It's asphalt. I am very aware that that's how Americans say asphalt, asphalt. I'm not gonna stop saying asphalt because that's just how we say it. I'm not saying it's a Canadian thing, but definitely here in the Ottawa Valley, everyone says asphalt. You might have the odd guy that says asphalt, but that's always the guy who calls a Z a Z. Um, so don't like, yeah, so I'm not saying it wrong myself. Uh, it's just how we say it around here is asphalt. So I got 17 ton of asphalt done asphalt and we'll go and get rid of that
You guys just watched the time lapse. Al started pushing out all the stuff that they were digging out in towards here so Brad could load it out. They're left with this. Um, now I might come back and grab this or Steph will come and get it tomorrow because uh, there will be a guy here. Uh, I'll see what Brad wants to do, but he's just putting the last few loads there on now. We'll go talk to him and see what he wants. All right, we're gonna go to the top of there this time. Uh, and I'll just wait till those guys come down for me to get up there. I got my bill bucks, I got my batteries, everything's good. The truck's done, I got the keys in my hand, we're gonna lock it up. Um, it's, I keep looking at, uh, man, this watch is really fucking me up, I don't have a watch. Um, so the other guys, they have the tandem hauling to them. Like I said, Steph's gone, so that's why the truck is parked right now. He's back tomorrow, and then we'll be back on the road ready to go. But we just gotta pop away all these keys. There's my truck. There's Corey, he must have taken the Tundra. But you know what? I figured that that was kind of a uh, spur of the moment, good little video. Uh, get out there and show you guys uh, me shifting some gears and getting the job done. It was awesome, it wasn't much, but it was fun. It was like maybe four or five hours. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Now, I really screwed up yesterday's Where's the sun? I really screwed up yesterday's outro and I feel bad because a lot of people in the comments were mad. But guys, that's the end of the video. I appreciate it if you watch the entire thing. Make sure to subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment, let us know what you thought. I appreciate it and we'll catch you guys on the next one. And no, I didn't forget for you guys, the true patriots of this channel that watched the entire video to the very end, which is literally right now. And if you are one of those true patriots, I want you to comment down below, shift it. Why shift it? Because we were shifting the gears today, all 18 gears of them, and today in the Western Star Triaxle. So if you watch the entire video, comment down below, shift it. I appreciate you guys. Why you be all my line about nothing? Why won't you go? Get you a dollar or something Don't hang with a nigga who lying for nothing I see that we different, you riding, I double them I don't do discussions, on bragging about hundreds Don't go to your places, I know that they sunken Don't call me your brother, I barely can trust you I talk to a shorty, she bagging the bucket And I'ma need all of my dollars on corporate So hand me the money, I divvy the pot I'ma give all of my people a 